All right, so welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about Kerberos. Now, be with me till the end because in this video, we are going to understand how the practical or the real world enterprise network authentication really works. If you haven't subscribed the channel, subscribe it now. Without taking much time, let's get ahead. All right, so let's talk in detail about Kerberos. Now, Kerberos is a network authentication method which is used when we have active directory environment. Okay, so let's first talk about the benefits of Kerberos system. You see with Kerberos, you get an effective controls which was lacking earlier. So with the effective access control, that means you can enforce uh, policies for the user. You can track the user login as well. You can see uh, wh who is logging, what he is accessing to, how long he was there, all those stuff. Next, you can also grant a limited period tickets for individual users. The tickets are nothing but the uh, is the access access entry. Just like we have a gate passes, we have tickets to uh, some um, you know uh, matches. Exactly the same way, Kerberos allocate. Uh, you know, uh, tickets for every access to the individual users. Okay, so it can be a limited time period as well. Although user always wish to have a lifetime ticket access, but Kerber with Kerberos we can have a limited period access as well. Mutual authentication. Well, not just user, but even the service can also authenticate user. Okay, that's that's how we call it as mutual authentication. Next is reusable authentication. Well, you see with the reusable authentication, Kerberos user authentication is basically can be reusable and it's also durable as well. Uh, once the user log into the system, user don't have to, you know, re-auth again and again. Only use, user can just, uh, 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 you know, authenticate himself or herself in the beginning and and rest of the stuff Kerberos can maintain the access till the time the tickets are valid okay next is strong and diverse security measures so this this is done by the secure uh, Kerberos security authentication protocol that employs the cryptography and multiple secret keys and third party authorization as well possibility of uh, allowing or integration third party authorization system as well now let's talk about the entire system or entire system of Kerberos, their components as well. So if you look at the components, the first very important component is the principles. Now a principle consists of the major uh, part, which is, you know, I, I say this is, this is what uh, the endpoints really looks like, the users and the service. So user want to access the service and service want, uh, you know, service want to serve the user. So they, this is the core element of the uh, of the Kerberos system. That's why it is called principles. Next, we have the heart of the Kerberos system, which is the Kerberos key distribution center. Now this is responsible. Uh, this is responsible for supplying the tickets. And this basically consists of two major components, although I should be writing it just next to it but yeah that's okay uh the 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 major the two components of kdc is the authentication servers and ticket granting servers now you see the authentication server the job of authentication server is to perform initial authentication check and also to verify if only the known user should ask for or should request for accessing this service Okay, and whereas the ticket granting service server is responsible for making sure users should only ask for a known service every time. Okay, and if they are trying to or requesting for any unknown service, it should discard the request. So that's how it works. Let's look at the flow of the flow of the entire you know system. You see, um, you see this is how. Okay, give me one second. So there are four elements in a way. First is our user, which is the principles, right? User. Okay. And on the right, we have service. Correct. 
and in between somewhere in between we then have uh, so this is our user and as I told you earlier we have around four components okay our two components sorry the on top of it we have KDC which is the Kerberos key distribution center which has got two components the first is the authentication server which take care of only known users should ask for or should request for the service and second is the ticket granting server okay now let's look at what exactly they are requesting for if you uh, if you come closer and you know if you try to notice it closer the first the first request and response goes sorry the first request and response goes along with the uh, authentication server okay let me erase it quickly yeah so the first request has to be done with the authentication server okay this is the request and it basically asks for the TGT the ticket granting ticket okay so it basically asks for the TGT from the you know from the system and on response to that the authentication server replied back with saying the you know uh, it sends the TGT in the encrypted encrypted method with TGT encrypted method and also share the session key next time the same user need to talk to the TGS and it basically request for uh, request access to the service request access to the TGS basically not to the service for the service it would be sending the request at the end so it would access the request to the TGS to this servers and want to submit his request on on its approval then he get the response back saying with the encrypted session key session key and the ticket he finally get the ticket to talk to the server because now it has been verified that yes it is a known user now and what you are requesting for it is a known service now you are allowed to talk to the service now the user send the request directly to the service and sends the send the service ticket the same ticket it reutilize it uses the same ticket and send it to the server now the it now the, to the service it goes the same t a ticket which was received from the TGS will be sent to the service and finally the service reply and says yes yes I'm okay I'm ready to talk to you and that's the entire flow of uh, of the Kerberos system I hope you got the idea about how exactly it works if you have any question do ask me in the comment I would love to answer that thank you Thank you.